Yes, uh, good evening, good evening everyone. This side Dr. Abhijit and today I will be discussing the anatomy of the liver. Okay, I mean the complete entire liver I will be discussing in one shot. Yes, so <clears throat> before starting with the topic, uh, just give me a thumbs up in the chat box that the audio and visuals are fine. I hope the audio and visuals are perfectly fine so that I can start with the session. Yeah. So these are the topics that I will be focusing on today. So yes, Angel Matthews, okay, beta. Sethi Usman, good afternoon. Yeah, it's good evening now, as of now. Yeah, good evening, beta. Good evening. Yeah. So yes, Sethi Usman, yeah, I'm very fine. Chris Matari, uh, good evening, beta. Good evening, I'm very much fine. What about you, beta? So these are all the topics that I will be focusing on today. Yeah, I will be focusing on today. So yes, let us discuss all these topics one by one. Siddharth, good evening. Dimple D, good evening. Uh, good evening from Kenya. Very good, beta. Sanjana, good evening. Garima, good evening. Good evening, beta. Welcome to the session on the anatomy of the liver. On anatomy of the liver. So, beta, liver, uh, you should be aware of the fact that the liver, it is the largest gland of the body. Okay, it is the largest gland of the body. Okay, it is the largest gland of the body. And remember, beta, it consists of, okay, yes, Osama Sheikh, good evening, Sai Krishna, good evening. So, yes, it consists of both. Now, when I say both, beta, it means that it consists of the exocrine part as well. Okay. It consists of the exocrine part and it also consists of the endocrine part. Okay. It consists of both exocrine and endocrine part. Remember, beta, the exocrine part. Okay. Can anyone tell me what exocrine part will secrete? Yes, can anyone tell me what exocrine part will secrete? Yes, anyone in the chat box would like to answer that the exocrine part will secrete. Yeah, it is. It secretes. Yeah, it secretes. Yes. We have the bile. Right. Yes. Now coming on to the endocrine part. So remember, beta, it liberates some useful chemical substances. Useful chemical substances, okay, like glucose from glycogen. Okay, from glycogen, glucose, right? Uh, remember, most of the plasma proteins, most of the plasma proteins, okay, except immunoglobins, okay, beta, except immunoglobins, remember, and heparin, and heparin, they are directly. Okay, they are liberated directly into bloodstream. They are liberated directly into bloodstream. So, yes, uh, Gaurav, Namaskar. So, remember, yes, yeah, obviously, Usman. So, it consists of both exocrine and endocrine part. The exocrine part will secrete the bile, and the endocrine part will liberate some useful chemical substances like glucose from glycogen and most of the plasma proteins except the immunoglobins and heparin directly into the bloodstream okay so that is about the type coming on to the next that is shape you already know the yeah the liver is wedge shaped okay it is wedge shaped and remember it is having a broad base it is having a broad base which is directed to the right Okay, broad base directed to the right. Tanvi, good evening. Dhanashree, good evening. Good evening, beta. 
Welcome to the session on anatomy of liver. I've just started. So remember about the type and the shape, right? It is having a broad base which is directed to the right. Now coming on to the situation and sight. Now can anyone tell me? I want answers for from everyone in the chat box. Now, what is the location? Sight or I can say the situation or the location. Tell me, just look at the picture beta and tell me. We have divided the abdomen into uh, nine regions, right? Out of nine regions, yeah. In which region it is present? Usman says right, hypochondrium. Very good, beta. So location, Usman has already correctly said it is the whole of the right hypochondrium. Okay, it is whole of the right hypochondrium. Next, yes. Ha, right. Ha, epi wala part bhi hai, dimple thi. Very good. It is the upper part of the epigastrium. Remember, yes, it is the upper part of epigastrium. Yes, it is the upper part of the epigastrium. Very good. Majority in the right hypochondrium, epigastrium, and right lumbar. Very good, beta. So, <coughs> before coming to that, remember that. <coughs> There is small participation of left hypochondrium as well. Left hypochondrium. Because the base left hypochondrium ta ja hai. If you can see it is going towards the left hypochondrium part as well. Okay. So part of the left hypochondrium. Okay. Basically it is up to left side. Okay. Or I can say the left lateral plane up to the left lateral plane yes satishri good evening beta good evening now coming on to yeah as uh, osama said hmm, as osama said yes sometimes okay this point i will write it is sometimes the liver okay passes below the right coastal margin it passes below the right coastal margin and occupies the right lumbar region and occupies the right lumbar region and occupies the right lumbar region. Okay, so again you have to remember it is whole of the right hypochondrium, right? whole of the right hypochondrium, upper part of the epigastrium, part of left hypochondrium up to left lateral plane and sometimes it is the right lumbar region. I hope this is clear to everyone. I hope the situation, the site or the location, one word for three things. So I hope it is clear to each and everyone. Yes, just give me a thumbs up in the chat box guys. Till now you have, we have discussed the type, we have discussed the shape, we have discussed the location. Okay. So just give me a thumbs up in the chat box. Yes, Tanjana, very good, beta. Very good. Very good, beta. Yes. <clears throat> Dimple, Sai Krishna, Sethi Usman, Angel Matthews, Karima, very good, beta. Now coming on to the weight, beta. Now, <clears throat> weight, yes. Now, if we talk about, yes, the absolute weight. Can anyone tell me what is the absolute weight of the liver in means? Yes, absolute weight. Anyone? Yes, yes. Absolute weight. Yes. Remember in adult males. Yes, it is. Very good. Nearby. Yes, Osama. Very good. It is 1.4 kgs. 1 kg 400 grams. 2. 1 kg 800 grams. Approximately this. Now coming on to the next part in adult females, remember in adult females it is 1.2 to 1.4 kgs, 1 kg 200 grams to 1 kg 400 grams and remember at birth, at birth it is, yes anyone would like to answer what is the uh, weight of the liver at birth it is 150 grams, it is 150 grams. Okay, so absolute weight in adult means in adult female and at birth. 
Now coming on to the proportional weight. Okay, we have something which is called as the proportional weight. Proportional weight. So remember, beta in adults. Okay, in adults. Yes, Osama, very good, beta. It is one fifty. In adults, yeah. In adults. So remember, it is one by thirty six of the entire body weight. Okay. So liver occupies like one by thirty six. Okay, of the body weight of the entire body weight. But in children's beta, in newborns, okay, in newborns, it it is one by eighteenth of the entire body weight of the newborn, entire body weight of the newborn. Why uh, why such difference is there? Liver why it is more large in uh, newborns, right? <clears throat> yes. So remember, beta, the liver. is more large right liver is more large due to which function beta due to which function okay it is due to hematopoietic function yes due to hematopoietic function in the fetal life okay yes in the fetal life and occupies Two fifth of the abdomen. Okay, it occupies two fifth of the abdomen. The liver is more large. Why, beta? Because it is uh, doing the hematopoietic. What is what is meant by hematopoiesis, beta? Tell me in the chat box. What is meant by the hematopoiesis? Fata fata se chat box ke andar comment karo. All the students. Yes. What is hematopoiesis? Fata fata se batayiye chat box ke andar. Chali. कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स की बात की जाए बेटा सो लिवर यू शुड रिमेम्बर इट इज हैविंग यस फॉर्मेशन ऑफ ब्लड सेल्स वेरी गुड ओसामा वेरी गुड बेटा वेरी गुड यस तो कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स यू शुड रिमेम्बर बेटा इट इज हाईली वस्कुलर ऑर्गन इट इज हाईली यस थी उस्मान वेरी गुड इट इज प्रोडक्शन ऑफ ब्लड यस वेरी गुड बेटा उस्मान वेरी गुड इट इज हाईली वस्कुलर ऑर्गन Now, when I say vascular beta, it is having a rich blood supply. Okay, rich blood supply that I will be discussing in a couple of minutes. Remember that it is reddish brown in color, beta. It is reddish brown in color. It is reddish brown in color. Okay. Now, liver cells may undergo mitosis. Now, liver cells may undergo mitosis. when part of liver is removed when part of the organ yes sanjana very good beta when part of the organ is removed now everyone has seen a movie kuli of amitabh bachchan you know uh, like uh, majority of the liver um, Yes, Amitabh Bachchan is like surviving on 25% of its liver because all of the liver was resected during uh, the shooting. I mean, uh, he met an accident, I think, during the shoot. Yes, <clears throat> and due to that, basically, majority of the liver was like, uh, <clears throat> yeah, it was cut. So yes, it was surgically removed, and still, like, he's surviving on I think 25 to 30% uh, of the liver right now. So remember, beta. Uh, <clears throat> yes, surgical remover. If the liver is again an important point over here, surgical removal of two third of liver. Okay, surgical removal of two third of the liver. It may be compatible to life. Okay, it may may be compatible to. life okay it can be injurious to life as well okay so yes surgical removal of two third of the liver may be compatible to life right chal very good i hope this is clear everyone characteristics are done 
now presenting parts that is the surface and the borders now i hope this is clear just give me a thumbs up beta we have already discussed the characteristics the weight absolute and the proportional weight and why the proportional weight i mean in newborns the liver is larger in size due to hematopoietic function we have discussed the location the shape and the type yes sai krishna garima inchil kriti sanjana very good beta very good perfect perfect now coming on to the presenting parts of the liver coming on to the presenting parts of the liver yeah coming on to the presenting parts of the liver so beta imagine a okay imagine a pyramid and if the pyramid falls down okay if the pyramid falls down how it would look like okay so suppose this is a pyramid and if it is falling down so remember it will be like somewhat like this yes so i will just try to show the uh, parts of the liver in the form of simple diagram okay and let us let us just look at the parts of the liver so remember yes i will try to draw it in 3d already you have to like understand it so yes just try to draw along with me beta just try to draw along with me yeah hmm sure very good yes so it is somewhat like this beta it is somewhat like this yeah it is somewhat like this i hope you got the picture right now in front of you okay so beta <clears throat> you already know ki yeah <clears throat> we will have a surface on the top okay that is called as the superior surface of the liver okay we have the superior surface of the liver and surface below okay and the surface below that will be called as the visceral surface of the liver okay visceral why visceral because it is connected to different different organs or i can simply say the inferior surface of the liver the inferior surface of the liver right the inferior surface of the liver एक सरफेस ऊपर की तरफ होगा सुपीरियर एक नीचे की तरफ इनफीरियर और एक राइट right साइड में आपको देखने को मिल रहा है इफ यू कैन जस्ट सी ओवर हियर बेटा ये राइट right साइड में आपको देखने को मिल रहा है दिस सरफेस ओके तो यस तो दिस इज द राइट लेटरल सरफेस दिस इज द राइट लेटरल सरफेस विच यू कैन सी ओवर हियर ओके सो यस दिस इज द right lateral surface of liver lateral surface of liver agar ek surface niche ki taraf hai beta to ek surface aage ki taraf bhi hoga we will have a surface in front yes we will have a surface in front yes and this surface will be the anterior surface Okay, this surface will be the anterior surface. Imagine करो इसको 3D में बेटा एक नीचे की तरफ सरफेस हो गया राइट right? एक आगे की तरफ सरफेस प्रेजेंट होगा यस इट इज द एंटीरियर सरफेस एंटीरियर सरफेस ओके वन सरफेस विल बी एट द बैक इट विल बी पोस्टीरियर surface posterior surface okay so remember <clears throat> remember beta if we talk about the surfaces so you should remember that we have visceral surface ek surface bilkul niche ki taraf hoga that is the visceral surface or the inferior surface of the liver or the inferior surface okay and one one will be the parietal surface now when i say parietal beta it is the diaphragmatic surface of the liver because this all it is covered with the diaphragm it is the diaphragmatic surface of the liver now which is the diaphragmatic surface of the liver superior surface upar wala ho gaya we have the posterior surface 
superior surface, posterior surface? Yes. We have the end. Okay. We have the anterior surface. Complete, complete. Like now, just write completely. Okay. Now we have the right lateral surface. Right lateral surface. So these all surface. It is the diaphragmatic surface of the liver. Anterior हो गया, ऊपर की तरफ superior, पीछे की तरफ posterior, और side में हो गया right lateral surface. So this all is covered with the diaphragm. That's why it is called as the diaphragmatic surface of the liver. Whereas the other surface, it is the visceral or the inferior surface of the liver. फटाफट से एक thumbs up दे दो if you guys have understood this particular point. फटाफट से एक thumbs up दे दो if it is clear बेटा. जल्दी से. चलो वेरी गुड संजना डिंपल वेरी गुड बेटा एंजल मैथ्यूज वेरी गुड बेटा वेरी वेरी गुड बेटा ओके तो यस ओसामा गरिमा वेरी गुड वेरी गुड बेटा रिमेंबर बेटा द इंफीरियर द बॉर्डर्स इफ यू टॉक अबाउट द बॉर्डर्स यस सत्यश्री साई कृष्णा वेरी गुड इफ यू टॉक अबाउट द बॉर्डर्स बॉर्डर्स यू कैन जस्ट रिमेंबर देखो एक पोस्टीरियर साइड में ऊपर की तरफ होता है सो इट इज द पोस्टीरो सुपीरियर बॉर्डर नॉ वेन आई से पोस्टीरो पोस्टीरो मतलब पीछे की तरफ और सुपीरियर मतलब ऊपर की तरफ सो इट इज एट द बैक एंड टू आर लाइक अप वी हैव पोस्टीरो इंफीरियर बॉर्डर एंड द थर्ड वन वी हैव द इंफीरियर बॉर्डर इंफीरियर बॉर्डर दैट इज लाइक यू हैव टू नो इट इज शार्प well defined border it is the sharp well defined border it is the sharp well defined border yes sai krishna sachita very good beta so yes we have like five surfaces okay one is the inferior surface or inferior surface is called visceral beta why because it is connected to different different organs right parietal may why parietal because it is covered with the wall of the diaphragm that's why it is called as the diaphragmatic surface of the liver superior posterior anterior right lateral surface right lateral surface okay obviously beta ye wali side kaun si hai right hai okay this is the right side aur ye kya hoti hai left to liver isi tarike se so let us let us now discuss yeah so this is the surfaces and the liver uh, i mean the surfaces okay so let us like discuss the anatomical lobes of the liver now let us discuss the anatomical lobes of the liver now yes so uh, beta over here you can see the liver anteriorly this is the anterior surface beta this is the anterior surface of the liver okay side mein dekhoge to beta it is the right lateral surface right lateral surface ab liver ke niche kya present hoga inferior surface upar ki taraf uh, superior hai aur piche kya ho jayega posterior surface right so just try to imagine in the way i am telling you now coming on to the anatomical lobes of the river so remember beta the liver okay this is the right side okay this is the right side and this is the left side so obviously the anatomical lobes of the river are right lobe okay as you can see in the picture we have the right lobe and we have the small left lobe okay we have the small left lobe so the liver is divided into two lobes right and left lobe okay like right and the left lobe so anatomical lobes are divided into right lobe and yes small left lobe of the liver now how are they divided how are they divided into two so beta you should remember we have yes <clears throat> we have a ligament over here beta we have a ligament over here yes it is called as the falciform ligament okay it is called as the falciform ligament it is called as the falciform ligament okay the falciform ligament right and yes <clears throat> now this falciform ligament beta dekho this is the anterior surface which i am showing you this is the anterior surface everyone is clear so this falciform ligament it is present on the anterior surface and on the top also and on the top also yes yes 
it is derived from which mesocastrium beta it is derived from which mesocastrium anyone would like to answer this question it is derived from which mesocastrium if we if i just try to draw it beta it is derived from which mesocastrium beta anyone would like to answer this question yes so this is the remember this is the falciform ligament yeah it is derived from ventral mesogastrium beta i have already told you liver ventrally develop karta hai na theek hai stomach ke aage develop kar raha tha yaad hai jab maine aap log ko embryology padhai thi it is developing in front of the stomach obviously baat to is it is stomach is surrounded by which mesogastrium ventral mesogastrium to usi mein ye develop kar raha hai so that is the falciform ligament now when i say falciform ligament beta you should remember it is derived from ventral mesogastrium it is derived from yes kriti very good beta it is derived from the ventral mesogastrium and remember it is dividing the liver into right lobe and small left lobe okay remember beta we have yeah we have a fissure over here okay we have a fissure over here beta that fissure it is for ligamentum teres ligamentum teres okay so we have a fissure over here on the inferior surface and this is ligamentum teres on inferior surface on inferior surface so we have ligamentum teres on the inferior surface even the fissure I, I, you cannot see the fissure for ligamentum venosum okay that is also present on the posterior surface right so these are the three uh, main things the falciform ligament number 1 that is present aage ki taraf aage means anteriorly and superiorly so you should remember the falciform ligament present anteriorly superiorly okay which is derived from the ventral mesocastrium we have the ligamentum teres okay which is present inferiorly and the third one beta that you have to remember which is responsible for the two anatomical lobes it is yeah fissure for ligamentum venosum okay fissure for ligamentum venosum now fissure for ligamentum venosum it is present on posterior surface so i will show the posterior surface also no need to worry no need to worry so anatomically there are two lobes in the liver okay right lobe and the small left lobe and they are divided by the falciform ligament okay the ligamentum teres on the inferior part and posteriorly we have the ligamentum venosum kya itna clear ho gaya hai sabko if it is clear just give me a thumbs up in the chat box guys if it is clear just give me a thumbs up in the chat box farafat chalo farafat farafat yeah <clears throat> now coming on to the caudate lobe of the liver coming on to the caudate lobe of the liver priti angel dimple sanjana osama garima very good beta very good very good perfect now beta coming on to the caudate lobe of the liver for caudate lobe i have turned the liver now to see the posterior and the inferior surface so this view beta so this will be the right side ab dekho hum hum piche se dekh rahe hain liver ko nikala hai aur usko turn kiya hai maine ठीक है सो ऑब्वियसली दिस इज द राइट साइड ये लेफ्ट साइड हो गया ऑब्वियसली बात है ना बेटा देखो राइट साइड में राइट लिटिल सरफेस है तो ऑब्वियसली बात है ये इधर आ गया तो अभी हम पीछे की तरफ से देख रहे हैं वी आर लुकिंग फ्रॉम बिहाइंड राइट सो या लिवर को मैंने ऐसे निकाला एम जस्ट ट्राइंग टू सी द लिवर नाउ यू ऑलरेडी नो दिस इज द पोस्टीरो इनफीरियर व्यू posterior inferior view of the liver posterior inferior view of the liver yes now beta see <clears throat> if i just try to replicate the same diagram beta if i just try to replicate the same diagram you should remember beta yeah i will tell it okay let, let us let us just draw it yeah let us just draw it so that it's easier to understand the boundaries of the caudate lobe as well so we have two more lobes that are behind the liver on the posterior surface and the inferior surface of the liver 
so we will just try to learn the boundaries and like where they are located so let us suppose this is the liver okay let us suppose this is the yeah this is the liver part okay uh, i'll just draw it here nicely hmm. Now, you already know that beta, this is the right side and this is the left side, right? Liver right with the major part, right? So now see beta, you already know, you can see this vessel. Beta, this vessel, it is called as the inferior vena cava, the major vein, okay? So you will find a groove over here. Groove matlab gadha milega. Gadha means a pit you will see on the posterior surface of the liver. Okay, where the inferior vena cava is present. So let us let us just try to draw that groove over here. Yes, so we have this groove over here. Yes, that is the groove for inferior vena cava. So this is yes, this is groove for inferior vena cava. This is the groove for inferior vena cava. Right? You can see beta over here. Now, what you can see on the inferior surface beta, you can see the gall bladder. You can easily see the gall bladder over here, right? So, yes. So, we have a fossa that is present over here, and that fossa it is called as the fossa of the gall bladder. Okay, it is called as the fossa of gall bladder. If you just try to see anteriorly also beta, anteriorly also, you can see on the inferior surface some part of the gallbladder is there. Okay, some part of the gallbladder is there. So, likewise, it is like situated like this, right? Gallbladder fossa. Okay, gallbladder fossa. Now, I told you on the posterior side, we have the fissure. Okay, we have the fissure. Yes, we have the I'll just take another pen. Yeah, it is fissure for ligamentum venosum. Yes. So you can easily see it over here. Yes, we have no. But now this which you can see over here, it is Fissure for ligamentum venosum. Now, can anyone, everyone has to tell me in the chat box, ligamentum venosum is a remnant of, ligamentum venosum is a remnant of, everyone in the chat box should answer this. Ligamentum venosum is a remnant of, tell me. So, yes, we have the, yes, fissure for ligamentum venosum. Yes, Karima, very good. It is ductus venosum. Mene bataya tha tum loko. It is connected to the left umbilical vein. Very good. Analog Arthur 1984. Very good. Yes, Osama Sheikh. Very good. It is ductus venosum. It is connected to the left umbilical vein. Yeah. So we have fissure for ligamentum venosum. It is remnant of yeah ductus venosus. Ligamentum venosum. And yes, ductus venosus, Sanjana, can anyone tell me if the ductus venosus persists, what will happen? If the ductus venosus persists, what it will lead to? Anyone in the chat box, if ductus venosus persists, what it will lead to? So the fissure for ligamentum venosum, it is connected to this ligamentum teres. Okay, it is connected to this ligament and that is the ligamentum teres. Okay. Ligamentum teres. Okay. And these two. Yes. Everyone is right. And these two basically they are. Yeah. There is a structure. Okay. Over here. Yes. And that structure beta. It is called as 
पोर्टा हेपाइटिस पोर्टा हेपेटिस which you can see over here beta the one which i am marking the one which i am marking it is yeah it is the porta hepatitis ha porto ke wala nastomosis theek hai theek hai garima priti very good beta ab mujhe fatafat se bata do porta hepatitis ke andar aapko kya kya dekhne ko mil raha hai gall bladder se kya dekhne ko mil raha hai yeah porta hepatitis mein beta basically you can see three things okay the porta hepatitis way you will see the portal vein beta ek blue color ka vein dikh raha hai isko portal vein bolenge okay we have the portal vein okay we have the bile duct okay we have the bile duct beta bile duct hai ha aur sath mein ek artery bhi dekhne ko milti hai so that is the hepatic artery abhi aur bhi discuss karenge isko detail pe तो इतना आपको पता होना चाहिए अगर मैं पोर्टा हेपेटिस बोलता हूं बेटा तो इसका मतलब है इसमें एक वेन एक आर्टरी और एक डक्ट देखने को मिलेगा पोर्टल वेन हेपेटिक आर्टरी एंड बाइल डक्ट पोर्टल वेन हेपेटिक आर्टरी एंड बाइल डक्ट ओके कॉमन बाइल डक्ट किससे मिलके बना हुआ है बताओ या चलो सबका ठीक है नो हम्म कॉमन बाइल डक सिस्टिक डक्ट एंड कॉमन हिपैटिक डक्ट कॉमन हिपैटिक डक्ट किसका बना हुआ है यस इट इज द राइट हिपैटिक डक्ट एंड द लेफ्ट हिपैटिक डक्ट ओके चलो इतना क्लियर हो गया अब बेटा पोर्टा हेपैटिस के ऊपर ये जो एरिया मैं हाईलाइट कर रहा हूं ओके दिस एरिया ओके इट इज द कॉर्डेड लोब ऑफ द लिवर इट इज द कॉर्डेड लोब ऑफ द लिवर my question to everyone over here usman uh, yes it's right my question to everyone over here if i am saying this is the cl now when i say cl beta it is the caudate lobe ab iski jaldi se boundaries bata do ki caudate lobe ke right mein kya present hai what is present on the right of the caudate lobe what is present on the left of the caudate lobe and what is present below the caudate lobe chalo jaldi se answer do fatafat se chat box mein What is present right to the coordinate loop? Yes. <clears throat> yes. Very, very good. Dimple D right. Me to groove for inferior vena cava. Very good. Very good. Dimple D. It is groove for inferior vena cava. Garima. ठीक है. Kriti. Very good. Right. वाला point ठीक है तुम्हारा. It is groove for इनफीरियर वेना कावा तो बेटा कॉर्डेट लोक तो ये हो गया ना ये देखो ये रहा कॉर्डेट लोक ग्रूफ और इनफीरियर वेना कावा लेफ्ट साइड पे लेफ्ट साइड पे डिम्पल दी ने लिखा है कि वी हैव लिगामेंटम वेनोसम वेरी गुड करीमा वेरी गुड वेरी गुड कृति लेफ्ट साइड यस वी हैव लिगामेंटम वेनोसम और बिलो क्या प्रेजेंट है बिलो बिलो कृति वेरी गुड बेटा बिलो व्हाट इज प्रेजेंट बिलो बेटा इनफीरियरली यस पीएच इट इज पोर्टा हेपेटिस इट इज पोर्टा हेपेटिस इट इज पोर्टा हेपेटिस हम लिगामेंटम वेनोसम पोर्टा हेपेटिस वेरी गुड टेंपल दी वेरी गुड वेरी गुड तो कॉर्डेट लोब सबको क्लियर हो गया कॉर्डेट लोब सबको क्लियर हो गया अब पोर्टा हेपेटिस के नीचे बेटा ये जो है This is the quadrate lobe. This is the quadrate lobe. अब quadrate lobe का बता दो जल्दी से चलो quadrate lobe का फटाफट से बता दो कि right में क्या present है Below and left. Quadrate lobe right, left and below. Quadrate lobe right, left and below. Yes, left. चलो गोल ब्लैडर राइट में गोल ब्लैडर फोसा राइट में गोल ब्लैडर फोसा वेरी गुड सो कमिंग ऑन टू द कॉर्डेट लोब यस वो डायग्राम एक ही बन जाएगा सो यू हैव दिस कॉर्डेट लोब यस वेरी गुड डिंपल दी एनालॉग वेरी गुड वेरी गुड सो रिमेंबर कॉर्डरेट लोब ऑफ द लिवर इट इज प्रेजेंट ऑन 
it is present on the inferior surface inferior surface and remember right wing kya present hai fossa for gall bladder fossa for gall bladder when you will start lower limb soon beta usman yes bata do left mein kya present hai left mein ligamentum yes left mein ligament teres beta ye right side ho gayi ye left side ho gayi to right side pe to gall bladder fossa dikhega aur ye ligamentum teres hoga na ligamentum teres aur below kya present hoga below batao below nahi bataya kisi ne what is present below yes इसके ऊपर क्या प्रेजेंट होगा अब और बिलो दोनों बता अब और बिलो सो so, पहले मैं लेफ्ट लिख देता हूं लेफ्ट यू ऑलरेडी नो क्या प्रेजेंट है लिगामेंटम टेरिस लिगामेंटम टेरिस अब हा अब तो पोटा हेपैटिस हो क्या अब वी हैव द पोटा हेपैटिस एंड बिलो we have the inferior border of the liver inferior border of the liver niche kya hai beta inferior border of liver inferior border of liver ha ah, aur above kya hai beta porta hepatis porta hepatis so quadrant lobe above porta hepatis niche inferior border of the liver towards the right fossa for gall bladder and towards the left we have ligamentum teres we have ligamentum teres is it clear beta quadrant lobe caudate lobe and the anatomical lobes it is clear beta fatafat se ek thumbs up de do chat box mein if all the three lobes are clear to each and every one if all the three lobes are clear to each and every one yes it is usman it is right right beta chal चलो जल्दी से फटाफट से एक थम्सअप दे दो यस डिंपल सत्यश्री एंजल उसामा कृति साई कृष्णा वेरी गुड वेरी गुड बेटा वेरी गुड राइट नाउ रिलेशन ऑफ द लिवर बेटा यू ऑलरेडी नो कि वी हैव या संजना गरिमा वेरी गुड वेरी गुड बेटा सो यू ऑलरेडी नो सुपीरियरली सुपीरियर राइट लेटरल सर्फिस right lateral surface then we have the anterior surface anterior surface and yes superior surface right lateral surface and anterior surface okay these are related to the diaphragm okay these are related to the diaphragm even the posterior surface also but posterior surface may there are many other things also present okay posterior surface may there are many other things which are also present now posterior surface you guys are going to tell me posterior surface from left to right left se right ki taraf jao left se right ki taraf jao okay left se right ki taraf jao so what you can see beta beta we have a uh, esophageal impression okay the esophagus basically tries to enter okay we have this esophageal impression so you should remember yeah the first structure that you will get it is the esophageal impression esophageal impression i will draw a diagram also okay then we have fissure for ligamentum venosum you can everywhere everywhere see this is the fissure fissure for ligamentum venosum on the posterior surface okay we have fissure for ligamentum venosum okay so it is obliterated ductus venosus of the fetus right it gives attachment to the lesser omentum right we have the caudate lobe abhi maine bataya bhi tha the caudate lobe and groove for inferior vena cava groove for inferior vena cava 
So these are all structures from left to right. Basically, first you will see the esophageal impression, esophageal impression, then fissure for ligamentum venosum, then we have groove for inferior vena cava, right? Groove for uh, means the caudate lobe and the groove for inferior vena cava. Is this clear, beta? The posterior surface relations are clear. The posterior surface relations are clear. Jaldi se ek thumbs up de do, fata fata se beta. Jaldi se ek thumbs up de do. Yes, Angel Matthews, very good, very good beta. Very good, perfect. Dimple, very good. Karima, very good, very good, very good. Sanjana, very good beta. Very good. Answer de te rao. Now coming on to the visceral. Priti Krishma, very good. Visceral or I can say the inferior surface of the liver. The inferior surface of the liver. What are the relations of the inferior relations of visceral or the inferior surface of the liver? Yeah. So just you have to remember with the help of a diagram. Again, the same diagram that I'm drawing continuously. Okay. So, beta over here, you have the impression for kidney. It is also called as the renal impression. It is also called as the renal impression. Okay. The kidneys are attached. Renal impression. We have the colic impression. Colic impression. This is the right side bit. And this is the left side. Okay. Colic impression. Okay. We have the esophageal impression was there. And you already know we have the stomach. Okay. So we have the long gastric impression. So we have the gastric impression as well gastric impression as well. So, the inferior surface of the liver, it is related to beta. Firstly, you should know it is related to the stomach. Okay. When I say stomach, it is the gastric impression. Gastric impression. We have the lesser momentum also. Okay. Fissure for ligamentum teres. You already know we have a fissure over here. Okay. We have a fissure over here. That fissure is for ligamentum teres. Fissure for ligamentum teres. Okay. Then we have quadrate lobe. Okay. Posa for gallbladder. Okay. So automatically these structures are present. Okay. So I hope this is clear to everyone. I hope the inferior or the visceral relations are clear to everyone. So yes, it is related to the stomach. Okay. We have the, yes, fissure for ligamentum teres. Satyashree, very good, Peter. Satyashree, very good. Fissure for ligamentum teres. Okay. Then we have quadrate lobe. Quadrate lobe. Then gallbladder fossa. Okay. And yeah, we have the colic impression beta. So we have the right colic flexion, right side, na? right colic flexion. Okay. And then we have front of the right kidney. Front of the right kidney. Front of the right kidney. So I hope this is clear to everyone. So let us, let us just look at the diagram beta. Let us just try to look at this particular diagram. So you can very well see, yeah, the esophageal part, okay. The gastric parts will be there, yes. Hmm. Now can anyone tell me, beta? Chalo, it's a question to everyone over here. Can anyone tell me which which part will attach over here? Can anyone tell me which part will attach over here? Chalo, jaldi se bata do, fata -fat. Jaldi se bata do which part will attach over here? Which organ? Yes, beta. Dimple. Very good, beta. 
किडनी बेटा स्क्रीन तो लिखवाया ही नहीं मैंने किडनी कृति वेरी गुड वेरी गुड एंड वेज किडनी बेटा इट इज राइट किडनी ये राइट साइड है ना और ये लेफ्ट साइड है यू हैव जस्ट टेकन योर लिवर आउट एंड यू आर वाचिंग इट फ्रॉम द मतलब लिवर को इस तरीके से बाहर निकाला और फिर आप देख रहे हो पीछे से तो यस हां ठीक है साई कृष्णा वेरी गुड वेरी गुड बेटा सो आई होप दिस इज डन दिस इज डन एवरीवन सो विस्ट्रल रिलेशंस ऑफ द लिवर आर आल्सो डन यस रिलेशंस ऑफ द लिवर आर आल्सो डन नाउ कमिंग ऑन टू द बेयर एरिया ऑफ द लिवर now coming on to the bare area of the liver now beta <clears throat> remember over here now when i say bare area beta bare area is this area which i am highlighting right now bare area of the liver is this area which i am highlighting over here right now now why we say it as the bare area of the liver yes right kidney sanjana very good sai krishna very good beta so bare area of the liver why we say it as the bare area of the liver the reason beta it is a triangular area okay it is a triangular area which is devoid of peritoneum it is devoid of peritoneal covering it is devoid of peritoneal covering if you want me to highlight in other image you can see this particular area beta so this is the bare area of the liver so this is the bare area of the liver okay so this this area so it is roughly a triangular shaped area okay it is roughly a triangular shaped area present on the posterior surface now <clears throat> and remember beta this bare area of the liver okay this bare area of the liver it is directly related to the diaphragm so this is the bare area of the liver and remember that it is yeah directly it is directly related to the diaphragm it is directly related to the diaphragm and right supra renal glands right supra renal glands right so remember now beta <clears throat> now beta remember beta so this is a triangular area beta it is a triangular area roughly okay so you can just see okay. now can anyone tell me the boundaries beta can anyone tell me the boundaries okay now the base of this triangle beta if we say the base it will be formed by what the base it will be formed by what beta so remember the base of this triangle it will be groove for inferior vena cava okay to the left obviously ye left hai so base left ki taraf hota hai iska theek hai now if we say yeah now this area it is the upper area beta this area it is the above area yes and this is the below area okay below and this is something which is referred as the apex this is something which is referred as the apex okay so we have the bare area okay so remember above it is basically we have upper layer of coronary ligament yes we have the upper layer of coronary ligament beta ye jo white se dikh raha hai it is the coronary ligament beta theek hai ये जो व्हाइट से आप लोगों को दिख रहा है ना दिस इज द यस कोरनरी लेगामेंट ओके कोरनरी लेगामेंट सो बिलो वी हैव द लोअर लेयर ऑफ कोरनरी लेगामेंट लोअर लेयर ऑफ कोरनरी लेगामेंट ओके द एपेक्स एपेक्स बेटा इट इज फॉर्म्ड बाय meeting of these two layers can you see these two layers are meeting and that is 
actually leading to the formation of the apex that is leading to the formation of apex so it is formed by it is formed by meeting of two layers of coronary ligament okay and apex is on which side beta फटाफट से बता दो apex is on which side in the chat box apex कौन सी साइड पे left side या right side the apex is on which side beta I want the answers in the chat box it is on right side or left side yes Priti very good it is on the right side very good yes Sai Krishna Dimple Sanjana Krishna very good beta so yeah coronary ligament on right side okay yes to form the right triangular ligament they go a triangle one right now end me exactly a triangle one right it so this area it is right triangular ligament okay so yes everyone is right everyone is right so that is about the bare area of the liver bare area of the liver so you can see over here yes now coming on to the porta hepatis beta porta hepatis it is actually present in the hilum of the liver just say i'm hilum of the spleen paratha it is the hilum of the liver okay now it is a deep remember beta it is a deep transverse slit it is a deep transverse slit so remember it is two inches long okay and it is situated in the posterior part beta. It is situated in the posterior part. Okay. It is situated in the posterior part of inferior surface of liver. Inferior surface of liver. Piche ki taraf hai or niche ki taraf hai. So you can see this. This is the hilum. And this hilum. Hilum is the opening. Or if the opening ko we actually call it as the porta hepatis. Okay, porta hepatis, which is two inches long, right? So deep transfer slit. Now, what you can see beta over here, what you can see in porta hepatis, contents are very well, like obviously, over you will have the chordate lobe, chordate lobe, okay? So, that is something you already know. To the left, you have ligamentum teres, right? Ligamentum teres. Yeah, to the right, we have the fossa for gallbladder. So these are something that you already know. So, but what are the contents, beta? So remember, beta, the first one that you have to remember, we have the portal vein. Iskander, we have the portal vein and its two branches. Portal vein and its two branches. We already know we have the right branch of the portal vein and we have the left branch of the portal vein we have the right branch and we have the left branch of the portal vein so remember the second one it is hepatic artery hepatic artery and its two branches you already know hepatic artery two branches we have the right hepatic branch and the left hepatic branch okay we have yeah two hepatic ducts basically they unite Unite means they combine to form the common hepatic duct. Okay, common hepatic duct. Apart from that, you can see hepatic plexus. You can see the nerve spitter. Okay, hepatic plexus, basically the autonomic nerves also in this. And yes, we have uh, lymph nodes along with some amount of fat along with some amount of fat so yes these are the contents portal vein hepatic artery common hepatic duct nerves autonomic nerves that is the hepatic plexus and we have sympathetic vessels okay that is like two to three hepatic lymph nodes and a little amount of fat and a little amount of fat i hope this is clear to everyone better just give me a thumbs up in the chat box porta hepatis the contents are clear bare area of the liver basically the boundaries are clear okay um, we have discussed the uh, visceral relations, relations of all the surface of the liver, spotted lobe, caudate lobe, okay, anatomical lobes, 
right presenting parts characteristics weight situations shape type yes so now we will move on to yes angel sanjana priti dimple karima prisma satyashri harshit come okay very good beta very good so this is the inferior part which you can just see beta over here right so you can very well see the yeah porta hepatis so porta hepatis is i hope it's visible to everyone you can see the gall bladder fossa over here on the inferior part this is the caudate lobe caudate lobe right so yes i hope this is clear to everyone i hope this is clear to everyone yes sahil kore very good very good beta now coming on to the very important part that is the segmental anatomy of the liver coming on to a very important part that is the segmental anatomy of the liver now beta you already know the liver is divided anatomically into how many lobes fada fada se chat box mein answer do the liver is divided anatomically into how many lobes jaldi se answer do fada fada anatomically into how many lobes beta fada fada se answer do iska hmm priti says two very good beta priti sanjana very good beta so you already know beta you already know ki suppose this is a uh, the liver okay i'll i'll just write nicely so that it's like yeah everyone is right priti sanjana temple satyashri garima prisma very good beta so you already know suppose this is the liver okay this is the anterior surface which i'm trying to show so you already know this is the right side of the liver okay right lateral surface the left side of the liver and the <clears throat> yes now over here i will be talking about the surgical division of liver surgical division of liver now i am not focusing on the anatomical division beta i'm i will be talking about the surgical division of the liver okay the surgical division of the liver so surgically the yeah we have two surgical lobes two surgical lobes and how they are divided now we have two surgical lobes you already know we have the right lobe and left lobe how they are different from anatomical lobe see beta you already know we have something which is called as the inferior vena cava piche ki taraf kya present hai you already know behind we have this inferior vena cava okay this is the inferior vena cava and you already know on below we have gall bladder gall bladder so yes now beta what we have to do we have to just create a line okay we have to create a line yes from the inferior vena cava okay to the gall bladder okay we have to just create a straight line from the inferior vena cava to the gall bladder inferior vena cava and gall bladder lies in the same axis beta lies in the same axis and if uh, we cut uh, like if we divide this on the basis of this axis this line it is called as the cantilever line okay it is called as the cantilever line it is called as the cantilever line okay i'll just write it nicely so yes it is called as the cantilever line and now it is dividing the liver into right lobe and left lobe right lobe and the left lobe okay earlier anatomical anatomically when we divided the liver beta you can see over here anatomically liver is divided on the basis of this yes ligamentum yeah there is <clears throat> anatomically but surgically the liver is divided into this we have the right lobe and we have the left lobe so it is like this beta did you get my point everyone did you get my point everyone just give me a thumbs up beta ki itna samajh mein aa gaya ki surgical mein aur anatomical mein kya difference hai what is the difference between the surgical and the anatomical lobes what is the difference between the surgical and the anatomical lobes yes satyashri kriti sanjana garima dimple angel very good very good harshit very good so yeah 
नाउ दीफ कैंटिलीस लाइन जो है इट लाइव एट लेवल ऑफ मिडल हेपैटिक वेन इट लाइव एट लेवल ऑफ मिडल हेपैटिक वेन मिडल हेपैटिक वेन नाउ व्हाट डज दिस मीन बेटा व्हाट डज दिस मीन लेट अस लेट अस जस्ट ट्राई टू लेट अस जस्ट यस फिजमा फिजा फिजा वेरी गुड वेरी गुड बेटा now beta let us just try to understand this the segments and uh, other parts as well so remember one diagram beta i will draw and i will try to cover each and everything so please try to understand there and then with me now you already know beta this is the right side of the liver and this is the left side of the liver this is the right side of the liver and this is the left side of the liver you already know we have the cantilever line okay for example if i just try to draw the cantilever line over here okay so you already know we have this cantilever line okay which is present at the groove of this inferior vena cava and yeah if i just try to draw it so yes we have the groove for inferior vena cava and yeah we have the gall bladder we have the gall bladder over here right so it is a line okay <clears throat> in the mid of this right now this is cantilever line and remember beta just above the cantilever line you will get one vein just above this line a vein is present and this vein it is called as the middle hepatic vein middle hepatic vein cantilever line it lies at the level of middle hepatic vein so yes we have three hepatic veins beta ek to middle ho gayi to एक क्या हो जाएगी फटाफट से बताओ यस वन विल बी राइट साइड वाली क्या हो जाएगी वी हैव द राइट हेपैटिक वेन यस वी विल हैव द राइट हेपैटिक वेन एंड वन टूवर्ड्स द लेफ्ट पिटा वी विल बी हैविंग द लेफ्ट हेपैटिक वेन बेटा All these are posterior. मैं anteriorly दिखा रहा हूं but please uh, remember it is all posterior. Okay? So remember बेटा it is the right hepatic vein and we have the left hepatic vein. So it is how the structures goes on like this, right? Now we have conutes. classification okay of the liver segments so remember beta this classification is based on hepatic vein hepatic vein and portal vein hepatic vein and portal vein so these hepatic veins they will all drain into this inferior vena cava okay these hepatic veins they will all drain into inferior vena cava okay the middle hepatic vein the right hepatic vein and the left hepatic vein now beta <clears throat> now ab mujhe baat batao ki ye wali side kaun si hogi lateral hogi ya medial a or yes तो यू ऑलरेडी या फटाफट से बताओ वो लेटरल है लेटरल साइड होगी ऑब्वियस सी बात है ना बेटा तो यू आर वेरी वेल अवेयर कि फॉर एग्जांपल दिस इज द मिडल हिपैटिक वेन तो इट इज ऑलरेडी डिवाइडिंग द लिवर इनटू टू सर्जिकल लोब्स इट इज डिवाइडिंग द लिवर इनटू टू सर्जिकल लोब्स वी हैव द राइट लोब यस वी हैव द राइट लोब एंड वी हैव द लेफ्ट लोब we have the left lobe right we have the right lobe and we have the left lobe now beta tell me right lobe it is divided into two parts okay 
वन लेटरल टू द राइट हेपैटिक वेन एंड वन मीडियल टू द राइट हेपैटिक वेन डू यू एग्री विद माई स्टेटमेंट सो वी हैव यस यस रिमेंबर बेटा वी हैव फोर पोर्टल सेक्टर्स सेक्टर्स नो यू शुड रिमेंबर वी हैव राइट लेटरल सेक्टर and we have the right medial sector beta again right lobe can be divided into two part the right lateral sector and right medial sector फटाफट से थम्स अप दो अगर ये पॉइंट समझ में आया सबको है तो पूरा राइट लोब ही फटाफट से थम्स अप दो इफ यू जस्ट कॉट दिस पॉइंट दिमाग में घुस के आए जल्दी से बताओ फटाफट यस जल्दी 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 फटाफट बताओ यस डिंपल वेरी गुड वेरी गुड बेटा वेरी गुड गरिमा इंचल वेरी गुड वेरी गुड बेटा संजना वेरी गुड बेटा और लेफ्ट वाली साइड लेफ्ट वाली साइड बेटा तुम्हें पता है मिड लाइन के पास है तो क्या हो जाएगा लेफ्ट मिडल सेक्टर मीडियल सेक्टर एंड लेफ्ट लेटरल सेक्टर राइट यस सो वी हैव द लेफ्ट वेरी गुड वेरी गुड संजना वी हैव द लेफ्ट मीडियल सेक्टर and we have the left lateral sector we have the left lateral sector chal itna clear ho gaya chalo itna clear ho gaya sab logo ko very good ab <clears throat> yes fiza very good very good beta now beta these four sectors okay they are divided into eight segments now how are they divided into eight segments by the help of portal vein by the help of portal vein okay so we have the portal vein which is dividing each segment into two parts okay so remember beta this is the portal vein okay this is the portal that's why i said this classification is based on hepatic veins and portal veins this classification it is based on hepatic veins and portal veins okay now beta how to name ab dhyan se dekho hamesha start karna hai left side se the one which is like uh, close to the midline so we have the first okay i'll 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 use a different color over here i'll use a different color so yes we have the first segment over here beta we have the first segment over here now this first segment it is present anteriorly abhi to ye main posteriorly aapko dikha raha hu theek hai matlab obviously baat hai maine isme dotted nahi banaya koi bhi cheez i am not drawn dotted anything but it is all present posteriorly now when i say first beta remember this first segment it is present anteriorly okay it is present anteriorly okay <clears throat> now sorry ah sorry it is present posteriorly hoga na hmm. chalo no yeah i'll i'll just show you it i'll just show you no need to worry at, at all now beta <coughs> then we have to come to this particular segment so it will become second then below it is third we have fourth segment then it is fifth we have sixth sorry fifth just in clockwise direction beta clockwise direction mein isko ghumate raho okay we just have to do clockwise direction one se shuru kiya 2 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so how many segments are there as of now eight segments are there eight segments are there okay now this four is divided into four a and four b now why four b beta i already told you ki one wala jo hai wo posteriorly present hai so if you just try to see over here beta if you just try to see over here you can see all the segments but four a and four b okay it is one segment only one above the portal vein and one below the portal vein right so or one jo hai 
वन जो है वो आगे की तरफ प्रेजेंट है दैट्स वाई वो इस पिक्चर में दिख नहीं रहा दैट्स वाई वो इस पिक्चर में दिख नहीं रहा इट इज प्रेजेंट पोस्टीरियरली और ये क्या हो जाएगा सेकेंड ये क्या हो जाएगा थर्ड ये क्या हो जाएगा फिफ्थ सिक्स सेवेंथ एंड एट्थ आई होप द सेगमेंट आर क्लियर बेटा जस्ट के मिया थम्स अप इफ द सेगमेंट आर क्लियर so you guys are going to tell me you guys are going to tell me right lateral sector will have which segments jaldi se batao fat fat se chat box ke andar answers de dete ho right lateral sectors will will have which segments beta answer do thumbs up nahi answer do fat fat right lateral sector mein kon kon se segments dikh rahe hain chalo jaldi se bata do fat fat hmm right lateral sector will have which which segments Very good, beta. It is six and seven. Yes, it is six and seven. It is six and seven. Right medial. Yes, Sanjana. Very good, Satyashree. Very good. Right middle segment. Right medial sector will have how many segments? So we have eight segments, beta. So eight segments. So right medial sector will have. Yes, we have. Ah, वो वाला आंसर ठीक है. Right medial sector will have fifth and eighth. Yes, we have fifth and eighth. Yes, left. Yes, Satyashri, very good. Sanjana, very good. Sai Krishna, very good. Left medial sector will have left medial sector will have one and four segments. Okay, and left lateral will have second and third segments. Second and third. Segment, second and third segments. Chalo, a question to everyone over here. Just use your brains and tell me, beta. Keeping all the information in mind. If a part, okay, I will not tell the answer. This answer I want from you people. I want to see how much you have utilized. Okay, if a part of liver left to falciform ligament. left to falciform ligament is removed which segments are preserved okay tell me which segments are preserved i want your answer which major two segments will be preserved if the part of the liver left to the falciform ligament it is removed which segments are preserved हाँ चलो इसका आंसर देते रहो ओके तो आई होप दिस इज क्लियर टू एवरी वन नाउ ब्रिस्ट पेन क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ लिवर रिसेक्शन ब्रिस्ट पेन क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ लिवर रिसेक्शन फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट चलो देखो बेटा इस पिक्चर पे अगर कंसंट्रेट करोगे ओके ना बेटा एवरीवन नोस कि ये वाला फैलसी फॉर्म लेगामेंट है ये वाला फैलसी फॉर्म लेगामेंट है अब मैंने कहा लेफ्ट टू द फैलसी फॉर्म लेगामेंट लेफ्ट साइड तो ये हो गई अगर ये पूरा का पूरा रिमूव कर दिया तो विच वन विल बी द लेफ्ट पार्ट तो ऑब्वियसली बात है बेटा कि इफ इट इज रिमूव यहां पे प्रेजेंट होगा फैलसी फॉर्म लेगामेंट तो मींस व्हिच इज रिमूव्ड टू एंड थ्री इज रिमूव्ड सो व्हाट विल बी सेव्ड फोर एंड वन फोर एंड वन सेगमेंट्स विल बी सेव्ड यस सत्यश्री वेरी गुड वन एंड फोर सेगमेंट्स यस वेरी गुड बेटा वेरी गुड हां थोड़ा सा दिमाग लगाना होता है इसमें ठीक है थोड़ा सा दिमाग उसमें लगाना होता है हम्म चलो आई होप दिस इज क्लियर बेटा फटाफट से एक थम्स अप दे दो दिस इज क्लियर टू ईच एंड एवरीवन आई होप दिस इज क्लियर टू ईच एंड एवरीवन फटाफट से एक थम्स अप दे दो बेटा जल्दी से यस चलो संजना सत्यश्री वेरी गुड गरिमा एंजल वेरी गुड वेरी गुड बेटा डिंपल वेरी गुड बेटा दिस इज एन इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक बेटा डैट्स व्हाई इसमें ना सारे डायग्राम्स वगैरह मैंने इसलिए बनाए हैं तुम लोगों के लिए टू मेक इट लाइक इजी फॉर यू पीपल ओके Every time I'm just trying to show you with the atlas images also. Like these are all questions that will be asked in the exam. Okay. 
So now coming on to the Brisbane classification of liver resection. Now when I say liver resection means part of the liver will be removed. Okay, part of the liver will be removed. So the first one it is left impact. Okay. Hepatectomy, left hepatectomy. You already know Tommy means to cut. Hepat means liver. Liver ka part cut karna hai. When I say left hepatectomy, it clearly indicates we have to remove the segments 4A, 4B, 2 and 3. Okay. 4A, 4B, 2 and 3. So these all segments have to be removed in left hepatectomy. Now when I say right hepatectomy, Right hepatectomy. In this case, now anyone would like to answer the uh, answer the question. Right hepatectomy. Which segments will be removed, beta? Which segments will be removed? Yes. Right hepatectomy. Which segments will be removed? Thoda sa dimag lagao. Ha. Batao, batao. Answer, batao. Yes. Sakteshri five eight. ठीक है five to eight हो जाएगा ना पूरा हाँ हम्म नहीं बेटा वरुण वो ज़्यादा वाला हो गया उस पे मैं आऊँगा अभी हाँ basically it is five six seven eight कुछ ज़्यादा उसमें वो नहीं है okay now we have something which is called as left tri tri means तीन tri sector okay हाँ ठीक है संजना हाँ संजना ठीक है मरुन उसको भी करेक्ट करेंगे ट्राई सेक्टरेक्टमी ओके सेक्टरेक्टमी नाउ इसका मतलब क्या होता है बेटा इट इस एक्सटेंडेड लेफ्ट हिपाटिक्टमी नाउ लेफ्ट हिपाटिक्टमी इट इस ऑलरेडी फोर ए फोर बी टू थ्री तो इट विल ऑलरेडी बी रिमेन लाइक इट विल Remain the same. It will be 4A, 4B, 2 and 3. And two more segments beta. When I say extended, extended beta, they could left side consist two or segments. Can anyone tell me those two segments beta? Can anyone tell me those two segments? Or consist two segments? Likho ki mera answer complete ho jai. Fata fata se. Chaldi se. Hmm. Yes, it is 5 and 8. Obviously, what is it? 5 and 8. Now, this is the whole left hepatectomy. Now, what will be the extended left hepatectomy? And take it a little bit. Okay, which is closer to the left. Which is closer to the left part. That is 5 and 8. Next answer though. Next answer though. Right. Trisectorectomy. What of it says cancer door? Right trisectorectomy. Is come up to our extended right hepatectomy. What of it says cancer door? Right extended right hepatectomy. Jaldi says cancer which is a look. Yes. 5, 6, 7, 8, 4, A, 4, B. Very good. Dimple D. Very good. Bilkul Dimaga Chala Gaya. Very good. Kriti. Very good. It is 5, 6, 7, 8, 4, A, 4, B. Kriti Garima. Very good. Very good. Very good. So, each hour she will clear Hogi. That classification it is known as the Brisbane classification of liver resection. Okay. Now, remember, beta, two more things. It is segment 4. Segment 4, basically, beta, you will see the quadrate lobe. And segment 1, you will see the quadrate lobe. I even don't need to tell you this. Already we have discussed the quadrate lobe. It is basically the independent segment. Uh, so remember, beta, the quadrate lobe, it is having arterial supply. Arterial supply from both right and left lobes of the liver from both right and left lobes of liver okay it is an independent segment so remember 
venous drainage beta coordinate loop you have to remember it is directly into the inferior vena cava it is directly into the inferior vena cava okay so yes <clears throat> yeah so i hope this is clear the brisbane classification of the liver resection just give me a thumbs up in the chat box beta is the brisbane classification of liver resection is clear yes if the brisbane classification of the liver resection is clear Dimple, very good, beta, very good. Dimple, very good. Angel Matthews, very good, beta, very good. Satyashri, Sanjana, very good. Kriti, very good, beta, very good, very good. Sai Krishna, very good. Chal, Sono, Sono, Sono. Aate to aate hi maze lene ke liye. To uska to dekho kuch nahi kar sakte. Ligaments me, beta, you already know we have, yeah, the, yeah. चलो ठीक है गरिमा कृष्णा वेरी गुड लिगामेंट्स मैंने वैसे ही डिस्कस कर लिया बट विल जस्ट ट्राई टू या लाइक वी हैव द फॉल्स लिगामेंट्स ऑफ द लिवर नाउ व्हेन आई से फॉल्स लिगामेंट्स बेटा दीस आर एक्चुअली द पेरिटोनियल फोल्ड्स दीस आर द पेरिटोनियल फोल्ड्स ओके एंड टू ऑलरेडी नो वी हैव ट्रू लिगामेंट्स राइट ट्रू लिगामेंट्स और आई कैन सिंपली से दीस आर द डेवलपमेंटल लिगामेंट्स ऑफ द लिवर developmental ligaments of the liver okay so remember beta peritoneal folds or the false ligaments are falciform ligament falciform ligament okay now this falciform ligament what does it contains ligamentum teres what are the contents of falciform ligament ligamentum teres para umbilical veins para umbilical veins जब बेटा मैं कंटेंट्स बोलता हूँ ना कंटेंट्स का मतलब होता है व्हाट इज इंक्लूज इन साइड दिस लिगामेंट अगर ये फैलसी फॉर्म लिगामेंट है फैलसी फॉर्म लिगामेंट है सो व्हाट इज इन साइड द फैलसी फॉर्म लिगामेंट वी हैव लिगामेंटम टेरेस वी हैव पैरा अम्बलिकल वेन्स ओके वी हैव पैरा अम्बलिकल वेन्स ओके एंड वी ऑल्सो हैव न्यूमरस वी ऑल्सो हैव न्यूमरस स्मॉल वेन्स numerous small veins and these small veins beta they are known as accessory portal system of sapri accessory portal system of sapri it is given a special name it is known as the accessory portal system of sapri after that beta you will see the coronary ligament coronary ligament we have right triangular ligament right triangular ligament i have already shown this we have the left triangular ligament okay and we have the lesser omentum beta we have the lesser omentum and we already know the lesser omentum connects the lesser curvature of the stomach okay and the first part of the duodenum means the proximal like point uh, 2.5 cm of the first part of duodenum to the liver liver says stomach or duodenum dono connected hai aur dono wo kis se connected hai by which ligament it is the lesser omentum it is connected to stomach as well as duodenum or duodenum ka kaun sa part only proximal 2.5 proximal 2.5 cm wala part it is connected to the stomach now if we talk about the true ligaments beta the developmental ligaments you already know we have the ligamentum teres ligamentum teres yes ligamentum teres again beta yahan pe maine ligamentum teres likha hai but it is falciform ligament uske andar ye ligamentum teres aapko dekhne ko milega theek hai content hai wo wo false nahi hai ye true wala ligament hai theek hai so you already know the ligamentum teres it is the remnant of left umbilical vein right it extends from umbilicus to the left branch of the portal vein okay we have ligamentum venosum we have the ligamentum venosum ligamentum venosum okay so yes <clears throat> that is about the true and the false ligaments of the liver true and false ligaments of the liver kitna clear ho gaya beta fada fada se ek thumbs up de do chat box pe just give me a thumbs up in the chat box if the ligaments are clear if the ligaments are clear yes 
चलो एंजल टेम्पल्स पंचना वेरी गुड बेटा सत्यश्री करिमा वेरी गुड परफेक्ट परफेक्ट बेटा परफेक्ट चलो नाउ कमिंग ऑन टू द आर्टिरियल सप्लाई ऑफ द लिवर सो आर्टिरियल सप्लाई ऑफ द लिवर या आर्टिरियल सप्लाई बेसिकली 20% परसेंट इट इज पाए यस ट्वेंटी परसेंट इट इज पाए हिपैटिक आर्टरी एंड रिमेंबर एट्टी परसेंट इट इज पाए पोर्टल वे इट इज पाए पोर्टल वे ओके नाउ बिफोर एंट्रिंग इन टू द लिवर टू ऑलरेडी नो दिस इज द लिवर ओके दिस इज द लिवर ओके बिफोर एंट्रिंग इन टू द लिवर you already know it divides into right branch and left branch okay now <clears throat> this is the hepatic artery so right hepatic artery and left hepatic artery right hepatic artery and left hepatic artery okay so before entering into the liver the hepatic artery will divide into right and left branches okay now After that, within the liver, they will re-divide to form the segmental vessels. Okay. So remember, beta. So you may like five days. Before entering into the liver, they divide into hepatic artery has right and left branch. Okay. Now, within the liver, they re-divide. Beta, they re-divide to form segmental vessels. Okay. They re-divide to form segmental vessels. Now, when I say segmental vessels, beta. means to each particular segment they will go we have already the eight segments right so they further divide into segmental vessels okay and they further divide okay these segmental vessels they further divide to form the interlobular vessels okay in between the lobules interlobular vessels which run in the portal canal and these interlobular vessels they will open into hepatic sinusoids hepatic sinusoids okay sinusoids the hepatic arterial blood the hepatic arterial blood basically it mixes with the portal venous blood and sinusoids these sinusoids basically are the uh, is the area where the hepatic blood will mix with the venous blood of the portal vein right so remember beta the, there is no anastomosis uh, between adjoining arterial territories हिपैटिक आर्टरी का आपस में एनास्टमोसिस नहीं है हिपैटिक आर्टरी नो दे आर मीटिंग इन द साइनोसॉइडल स्पेस विद पोर्टल वेन बट हिपैटिक आर्टरी का आपस में कुछ नहीं है दे आर नथिंग हैविंग एनी एनास्टमोसिस इन बिटवीन देम सो दीज आर ऑल एंड आर्टरीज दीज आर ऑल एंड आर्टरीज रिमेंबर हेंस ईच ब्रांच इज एन एंड आर्टरी सो दैट इज समथिंग दैट यू हैव टू रिमेंबर ओवर हियर ओके सो या hepatic artery right hepatic artery left hepatic artery further we have eight segments they will divide into segmental vessels again we have lobules they will divide into interlobular vessels and they will create sinusoids and these hepatic sinusoids will actually uh, mix with the portal vein blood okay portal venous blood in the sinusoids now if we talk about the venous drainage beta if we talk about the venous drainage so remember <clears throat> if we talk about the venous drainage so remember we have the hepatic sinusoids we have the hepatic sinusoids basically they will go to interlobular veins okay then we have sublobular vein sublobular vein they unite to form the hepatic vein they unite to form the hepatic vein and remember this hepatic vein drains into the inferior vena cava okay inferior vena cava okay so that is about the venous drainage of the liver coming on to the okay lymphatic drainage of the liver so you should remember beta in the lymphatic drainage you should remember we have the superficial lymphatics the superficial and the deep group of lymph nodes the superficial lymphatics is basically yeah it is the hepatic lymph nodes it is hepatic lymph nodes we have paracardiac paracardiac lymph nodes and we have celiac lymph nodes celiac lymph nodes right and deep lymphatics basically it is around the end of um, 
the inferior vena cava. So yes, it is partly in the nodes around the end of the inferior vena cava and it is partly in hepatic nodes, hepatic lymph nodes, hepatic lymph nodes. Okay. Uh, after that, if we just talk about the nerve supply beta, the nerve supply, the liver receives the nerve supply from the hepatic plexus. Now, when I say plexus beta, it is network of nerves. Okay. We have sympathetic fibers. Basically, they are derived from the celiac plexus. Parasympathetic fibers, they are derived from the anterior and posterior vagal trunk. Okay. So, that is something that two points that you have to remember in nerve supply as well. So, yes. We have sympathetic fibers. Okay, they are derived from the celiac plexus and we have parasympathetic fibers. They are derived from anterior and posterior vagal trunks. So that is all about the lymphatic drainage and the nerve supply of the liver. The lymphatic drainage and the nerve supply of the liver. Now, uh, yes, I hope everyone has understood this. I hope everyone has understood this. Just give me a thumbs up in the chat box, Peter. If you have like understood all the points that we have discussed. So, yes. Again, guys, a little bit about the microstructure of the liver. Yes, a little Garima, very good. Dimple, very good, Peter. Sanjana, very good. Perfect. Satyashri, very good. Prisma, very good. Yes, perfect. Now, when I say micro surface of the liver, Peter, remember the outer surface of the liver, it is covered by a serous coat and it is derived from the visceral peritoneum. And you already know the serous uh, coat, okay? Um, okay, the, if we just talked about the microstructure of the liver, yes. You want to discuss the histology also? Yes, the microstructure of liver. Just two more points, beta. Microstructure of liver, you already know, beta. He, the outer surface, it is covered by or lined by a serous coat. It is a serous coat and it is derived from visceral peritoneum. Okay, it is derived from visceral peritoneum. Okay, beneath the serous coat, beneath the serous coat, we have a thin layer of connective tissue known as glycine's capsule. Okay, it is glycine's Capsule. Remember, it is a fibroelastic. Okay, capsule. It is a fibroelastic capsule. So beneath the serous coat, we have glycine's capsule. It is a fibroelastic capsule, and it encloses the entire organ. Okay, it encloses the entire organ. Okay. So yes, that is about the microstructure that you have to remember. So I hope. Today, we have already discussed, we have discussed beta, we have discussed the type, okay, we have discussed the type, the shape, site, weight, characteristics, presenting parts, all the borders, all the surface beta, all the relations, all the lobes, anatomical, coordinate and quadrate, even the surgical lobes of the liver in the segmental anatomy, the surgical lobes of the liver. Okay, the bare area of the liver, the non-peritoneal area, okay, the porta hepatis, bile duct, artery, vein, ligaments of the liver, okay, true and the false ligament, the neurovascular supply, the nerves, arteries and veins, and ultimately the lymphatic drainage along with the microstructure of liver, microstructure of the liver, the glycine capsule and yeah, the serous coat. I hope today's topic is clear to everyone. I hope today's topic is clear to everyone. So we are just over with the anatomy of the liver. Peter, just give me a thumbs up in the chat box if today's topic is clear to each and everyone over there. So I will start with the extra hepatic biliary apparatus tomorrow, apparatus tomorrow. So yes, Tanjana, very good. Rahul, very good. Sai Krishna, Satyashri, perfect. Karima, perfect. Perfect, Peter. Yes. Shall. Shall. Very good. Dimple. Okay. I hope you all got the points right. I've tried my level best to explain you things in a very clear conceptual manner. Okay. Clear conceptual manner with whole clinical integration I have given like surgical resections and everything. Yes. So I hope everything is like clear. Chill. Perfect. Perfect.